I just had a very, very confusing f uh, phone call with um, a postman telling me he'd got four packages for me from Amazon. And I'm saying, well, well, where are you? Are you here? We're here. And looking out the, I'm looking out the door and there's no sign of a postman. And it's half, it was half one, half one in the afternoon and our postman's through by half 11. And I said, well, you know, and, and, and I said, well, we're here. And then, and then I don't know whether we got cut off, you know, we get a bad connection here. So he just disappeared. And I, and then I sort of thought, well, he's not there. And so I rung him back and I said, you're where? And he was saying names I didn't recognise. And I said, well, that's not us. And what's the name on the packet? What's the address? Oh, I don't recognise that. And he said, but you know, when I flash it, your number comes up. And da, da, da. after a couple of minutes, I, I realised, <laughs> I feel really bad, I realised it's the sleeping bags for Ronnie. Um, and he's at her address. And so I said, what's the name on the packet? It's Ronnie, the name on the address. And I went, oh, I'm sorry. I'm right, I'm wrong, it's me, it's not for me. I'm two hours north of that address, but is she not there? No, she's not there. Can you leave them in the garden? Yes, I, yes, it's open. So he is leaving them in the garden. And I and I felt really bad. It's very patient, it's very genial at the end, but I said, I'm you know, really sorry. <clears throat> and it's so complicated because it's all in French. So, you know, it's it's very broken French that he gets from me and which, you know, some people give up on and he didn't. So I'm really impressed with that. <clears throat> we had um, the uh, enterprise from uh, our local enterprise round with the, the new Devi this morning. He came um, about half an hour before lunch with the new Devi and that's all sorted. And they're looking at starting. I managed to push it forward because he was looking at April and I said, that's too close to when we go away. We, we're going away in May. Um, that's too close to when we go away because it's such a lot to sort out before and after and you know to have to do all of that and then prepare to go away is just too much so I've managed to push him to mid-March and I know what builders are like I know they they all give you a date to keep you happy and then it gets stretched and stretched but I'm thinking having pushed him into March even if it begins to be the end of March it still should give us time um, so that was all sorted pay the deposit check <clears throat> and um, that's another step forward. And then I had a message from the um, people that are meant to be installing the microstation um, saying that because our system doesn't conform, we need to bring in an environmental agency that I had contacted, I think, the other week when I was like, oh, my God, where's this form I need that have to do a study and then prepare a dossier and submit it and we need to do that although they're going to introduce us to the company and the company will help us do that so I'm hoping that actually all we need to do is say yes no and they come in and and all of that because I the thought of preparing a bloody dossier at the moment is is just too much just too much I am um, after um uh, Renolf Bat went I um it, so it was quite close to lunchtime I knew what I was planning to cook um, but I was now delayed by a quarter of an hour and I'd had a bad night and I took my painkillers at three o'clock ish this morning and then forgot to take any this morning when I got up and um, by lunchtime I wish that I'd remembered I was struggling to do the dinner and I, I'm doing two fast 800 meals today and got them both mixed up so I ended up doing some of the components for tonight's meal um, which is fine they've just gone in the fridge but it was it was it wasn't until I was like halfway through and I thought that doesn't go with this what am I doing and I yeah so totally conflict totally confusing and um I can blame anything on it age steroids lack of sleep what was somebody said in the comments I think all of those things and it's true it's really you know it's really tough tough so really nice lunch finally cracked the polenta i think because that um the fast 800 um menu is that recipe is um it's mixed with um stock and cauliflower rice and um and then you cook it until the cauliflower rice is cooked 
but you have to cook it really slowly because it sticks to the pan <clears throat> and it's got a very small amount of liquid with it which makes it stick to the pan but actually when I finally brought it all together and then you chuck in parmesan and some seasoning when I brought it all together um it was quite reasonably solid on the plate which is how it's meant to be you can almost cut into it so it's really nice I mean I've made it before sometimes and it's been sort of quite soupy but no this was nice so that went well and then I had to slump and, and we sat talking and I was thinking about the logistics again of packing up this room I can manage because I've begun packing this room up weeks ago and I can manage you know a bit here and a bit there but the kitchen can't be done until just before and the kitchen is full full of all the all your cooking ingredients all of my spices all of my oils all of my everything in there um and i thought i just don't know how i'm going to do it you know because that can't be done till the last minute so that was stressing me out and mark doesn't get stressed about that he because he doesn't do um he doesn't do that sort of planning he's you know he i call him my just in time man and just in time is uh, an industry um name of when you're manufacturing and everything and you do you're ordering just in time they didn't used to do that years ago and i think it was a new thing in the 70s or 80s and <clears throat> you started only ordering what you needed you know so you were doing just in time stuff which i think is probably what led to the crisis during and after covid of supply chain because everybody had been doing just in time so nobody had anything um and if I worked on that basis, then we would have stuff. When Mark and I were first together um, and we weren't living together, so he was either staying with me or I was staying with him, I'd come home from work and he we were to his house and we'd come in from work and he would be getting ready to go and do the shopping to get something for the meal that evening. And back then, I needed feeding earlier than I do now it's like I can't you know I because of the fast 800 means that meal times are fine and I can wait till meal time but I wasn't like that then and we had quite an argument because he was about to go off and get something for the meal rather than having it had planned ahead so that's partly the reason why over the years I've been the controller of the food well controller of lots of things really but the controller of the food supply chain because um we'd run out of stuff if Mark was in charge of it so with regard to the moving and moving all of this stuff out he doesn't he won't deal with it until it happens and I can't cope with that that just I can't cope with that level of stress so um I slumped on the sofa next to him to get wait for my painkillers to kick in I'd had my meal and just sort of slumping and um relaxing until my body could get ready and get up again and get going. And um, and during that time, I got my eyes closed. I'm not going to sleep, but I got my eyes closed and my head's going round, always. And I suddenly thought, and somebody probably said to the, this to us months ago when I was sort of stressing about this, get a removal firm in. And I suddenly thought, get a removal firm in. That's what we did when we, when we moved from Devon to, to, to France, uh, we had a removal firm in and the removal firm packed everything and that we'd never had that before when we moved from kent to devon we've moved ourselves um but when we moved from devon to france the removal men packed everything and um put it put half of it into storage because we weren't going to be in a house as big as this put half of it into storage and and then delivered to us in the house that we were in when we first got here <clears throat> they didn't unpack um we unpacked and we were in the middle of a candy hill so it was two or three days before we could get to unpacking because we were just absolutely um wiped out and i think probably just by the whole m move and the candy kill and we bought um our uh, aircon machine which we've still got and we bought that plugged that in and called the house down and once we called the house down we could start unpacking so we did it then and we were a lot younger and fitter then and um i'm gonna do that so we're gonna get a removal firm to do it and so that i'm not gonna stress about it now the nearest removal men firm is about 50 minutes away but that's okay i'll talk to them 
at some point and get them to give us a Debbie and get them on board. Um, but my only worry, well, it's not really a worry because if it happens, it happens and we'll work around it, um, is that the plumber is also had also mentioned March that they were working towards. So it would be quite good if the plumbing was done sooner than the this lot gets going or after um, sooner would be nicer. I'm quite looking forward to having a new shower and sink, but um, having them all here together would be complicated because we plan to live upstairs as they're working downstairs. We're going to be um, living in the bedrooms up there and have all the have the the kettle, the cook, the microwave and coffee and, and those sort of bits and pieces. And we're going to have to eat out, but um, to be able to make tea and coffee. And plus, if they if they do come at the same time, I'm going to have I'm not going to have an upstairs or a downstairs toilet. Which will be an issue for me, so um, but we won't know yet until I get notification from the plumber when they t intend to come. So, yeah, poor postman. Um, nice to see your comments on the art giveaway. I had a long chat to Phil and um, I think I've done it correctly. And what I'll do is, is once I've, um, I'm having to give myself a gap between choose, you know, using the, um, the comment picker, the YouTube random comment picker. I'm going to have to give myself a gap between doing that, recording it and then uploading the video. Cause I, I can't remember what video it was. I did the other week, the blog only a few days ago that took 12 hours to upload so based on that if i'm doing a um if i do the 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 random picking at midday it, i mean it could take till midnight to upload and obviously i'd post something in the post area if that were the case but i'm just giving myself time but that, that should work okay i think and i put four paintings and somebody said i like the fifth one and i'm thinking there was a fifth one and they're correct there is a fifth one i'd forgotten see my brain is just not working um so yeah um and the painting i've used as a as the thumbnail can also be part of the choice for those that might want that one um so yeah i'm quite excited by that i quite i i'm really um yeah I'm really pleased to do that. So tomorrow I am hoping that we will go to um, Cultura in near Poitiers to buy my Christmas present, which I'm planning on being um, an easel because uh, I want to get painting again. I'm also going to buy some canvases because I haven't got any canvases now. Um, so I'm going to buy uh, a couple of canvases and then do some free range painting. Get back to um, slapping paint on a canvas. I really enjoyed that when I did it. Um, really covering the canvas. I've got some brushes that are this wide, really covering it, you know, putting a colour on and then building up over the top of that. So some of the colour bleeds through. It's it's quite exciting because you get a well you don't know what you're going to get and i think that it, i i like doing that and um i i really enjoy what i do um in my art class but i actually enjoy having a bit of a free reign when i'm at home so yeah i get some canvases and get an easel and i might have to wait until christmas before i can have the easel i probably won't i never do so then comes christmas day i got nothing to unwrap but that's tough i'm not bothered about that Anyway, I'll finish there and um, you'll get this. If it doesn't take 12 hours, you'll get this at about eight o'clock, nine o'clock tonight. So, um, yeah, thanks for your um, comments on that um, giveaway. It is really nice, really nice that people appreciate it, appreciate my art. It feels weird, but there you go. OK, bye.